Human trafficking victims, they're all across the country. However, Florida ranks third in the nation with this problem. We are third in the nation in terms of human trafficking. This according to a National Human Trafficking Resource Center. But now Tanya Rogers was reporting today, a local artist is using her love for art to paint a healing picture for the rescued victims. I work in the farms, I work in the fields, I work as a prostitute. Rosa says she was 12 years old when she became a victim of human trafficking. It lasted 14 years. Her healing process included art therapy. What words can I speak? You always can put it in a paper. That's what the Catch the Wave of Hope founder is doing, using artistic talent to help victims of human trafficking. We discovered quite some time ago that we were able to use art as a vehicle to reach the hearts of victims and to bring healing and restoration. The art puts them in the right side of the brain so that when they are in that side where it's quiet, there's no noise, there's no talking, they're completely focused, they're really open to whatever download or teaching that you're giving them. Helping heal horrible memories. Memories. This is a piece that went to Singapore to raise funds for a home for trafficked children there. It's called Dayspring Arising, and the name of the home is Dayspring. Treasure Coast artist Lynn Barletta says local leaders are finding new ways to help human trafficking victims. Doing a huge mural so that we can bring awareness and also raise funds to build a home for trafficked children. A need to help the hurting. 100,000 children a day that we know of are being used in the nation for human trafficking. And 80% of human trafficking is human sex trafficking. Average age of girls is 12 to 13. Average age of boys is 11. Tanya Rogers, WPTV News Channel 5. In addition to building a home for victims, the organization would like to raise some money to help provide extensive therapy for the victims as well.